All right, um, thank you, Ben. Also here at 530, a deadly high speed crash caught on a home security camera and neighbors feel like it was only a matter of time before a tragedy like this happened. One neighbor has been fighting to get a stoplight at that intersection, saying it's just too dangerous. This crash happened last week at Chalmers in Frankfurt on Detroit's east side. It left two people dead and a child injured. And as our Larry Spool shows us, those neighbors are pleading for something to be done to get those speeders to slow down. Rosie Hubie is 95 years young. For the last 30 years, she lived in this home at the intersection of Frankfurt and Chalmers. She tells me she's seen it all. In my opinion, it's about the worst I've ever seen. She's talking about cars speeding in her neighborhood. Now this memorial sits right in front of her home from the latest accident just last week. I am. A neighbor gave me this video of the accident. You see the car is speeding through the stop sign on Frankfurt, but we're pausing it right before the impact. Now it's important to show the crash because it backs up neighbors claims that people are speeding through this neighborhood. But it was so severe, I couldn't help but see it because people dead and folks were just all over the place. The video picks back up just seconds after the crash. Police say two people died in that car, a 31-year-old female and a 34-year-old male. Police say Marquia Pitts was the driver of the car that hit them. Speeding is not the only issue neighbors here are worried about. They're also talking about drivers and the oncoming traffic. For example, if you're driving on Frankfurt, you can't even see me until you get right up to the intersection. No, that's a blind spot. See, that's a blind spot. The apartment building. That's a blind spot. D is one of the many neighbors who are asking for the city to place a stoplight at this intersection. It's something Rosie Hubie says her husband fought for before he died. And now she's hoping that will happen before another crash. If I don't live to see it, I hope somebody else will be able to enjoy living in the neighborhood. Now, neighbors did tell me that family members left those balloons that memorial across the street for those victims. Now, as far as the driver, Marquia Pitts, police say she's charged with two counts of reckless driving, causing death, causing serious impairment of a bodily function, and one count of failure to stop at a scene of property damage as well. Now, we are live on the Choice East Side tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Yeah, Larry, what are the chances of getting a stoplight there? Yes, yeah, so I did reach out to the Public Works Department. They tell me as of right now, they're not looking at to put a traffic signal at this intersection. That's because there is a, about one, about a mile down the road. They did not mention that they already have stop signs here. We had that full statement on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Jason. All right, All right Larry, thanks.